Lines only, H-Town, yeah. Keep running your mouth, keep running your... Jamel Charlo does a photo shoot with all his belts. He said, who the king? 154, we gonna talk about him. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Now, Jamel Charlo, lines only. It looks like he finally received all of his belts. Now, I remember seeing on social media not too long ago, Jamel Charlo was irritated and complaining because one of his belts had taken forever and it had been you know several months since they sent his belt it looks like that is now a thing of the past he posted the pictures you see on the screen and he says who the king and i had to make a video about it because this is a crazy photo shoot i thought it was lit i liked it um he was styling you know real drippy with all his belts now the other thing is this i had to make this video because it brought up all these pictures, you know, it made me kind of think about something that I've talked about on my channel. Listen, Boxer Ego, the future of boxing, and we're not afraid to talk about what others are afraid to talk about. We give everybody, they're just doing their props. And old media does not give Jermel Charlo his props. I think he should be on everyone's pound for pound list. He should be rated. I made videos about this. And, you know, just seeing something, I'm a visual learner, you know, so just seeing the pictures, how lit it looks and he got the ring belt and all the other belts except for the the belt that brian castano has it goes to show you how underrated that they try to treat this black champion from h-town and it's sad because like i said Jam jamel charlo he should really be on everybody's list he's supposed to be you know name somebody else in the sport of boxing that has this many belts with the type of resume names in his respective division that ain't on the top 10 pound for pound list. But then you got old media and they'll take a person like Chocolatito or in a way who are good fighters. But at the same time, a lot of guys like, let's be honest, a lot of guys that Chocolatito fought, you didn't even know who they were, you know, outside of Estrada and Brian Valoria and maybe a few guys like Quadras you know but they immediately put chocolatito on the pound for pound list you know guys like lomachenko get on the pound for pound list with an eight and one resume and they put him number one i remember espn they had teddy atlas and crawford had just become undisputed knocking out indongo and i was like a couple feet away from him while they were filming it was terrence crawford was there andre ward was there and teddy atlas and espn told andre ward and Terrence Crawford, two black fighters, two black American fighters, that they had to take a back seat to Vasily Lomachenko, who was the pound for pound number one. And that, to me, that was just crazy. I made videos about that back when that happened. And you see history repeats itself. It's the same thing. You have a, a black American champion who's lit. He's fighting mandatories. You know, it's funny because Jermail Charlo he fought mandatories that were actually dangerous. Charles Hatley, who had an amateur pedigree, the two had bad blood. Erickson Lubin, who knocked out Sebastian Fundura's upcoming opponent, Jorge Cota, right? Erickson Lubin was undefeated, thought to be a very promising and dangerous southpaw, and Charlo slept him in one round. You know, the title fight where Jamel got his title with John Jackson, Jason Rosario, who looked great versus J-Rock and stopped him at home. You see what I'm saying? These are all the types of people that Jamel Charlo is facing, yet and still he's not getting all his just due. So I had to make this video and kind of give my thoughts. I think Charlo should definitely be, he should bump a lot of people off the list and he definitely needs to be on the list. Even like you look at mainstream old media, a lot of the guys they have, like even Triple G, he's looking washed, he's looking horrible. And he really lost to Canelo. He he lost to Dervinchenko, he should have lost to Jacobs. Yet and still they put Triple G, hey, no guy, hey, Max. And they keep him on the, the pound for pound list. And you have a guy with all the belts in his division, but one, and people don't want to recognize Jamel Charlo's accomplishments is crazy but then in the same breath people those same people a lot of them a lot of the racists a lot of the detractors the naysayers that are going to disagree with this video 
they act like they're all in with uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for Undisputed. So have that same energy for Jamel Charlo and Brian Castano, Undisputed. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know how I did. Also, use my link to get TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a browser extension to help you level up your YouTube content. I use it daily, putting out videos like this. Use my link in the description. It does help the channel. We work. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.